Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi A2 and today I'll show you how you can copy your contacts from the SIM card to the phone. Now to get started you'll need to open up your contacts application which will be located in the Google folder as you can see right over here or just by swiping up and finding contacts. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, I have no contacts in here. There is also no Google account signed in. So there we go. So to get started, I'm gonna navigate to fix and manage, and this will give me the option to import from SIM. There we go. It's the first option. And once you select it, it will show you all the contacts that are in your on your SIM card. By default, they will all be selected. Uh, if some of these contacts already exist, in the location that you want to import these contacts to, they'll be graded out and deselected, so the phone is just stopping you from creating duplicate contacts. Now, the reason I'm saying uh, in the location, I right here don't have the option to change where my contacts will be uh, imported to, but if you are logged into your Google account, which I am not, uh, by default, the phone will opt into that Google account, and you will have somewhere like right here below the import contacts, a drop down menu that will allow you to change from your Google account to, as an example, the device. And you can choose where you import your contacts to. Once you import them, uh, I would recommend keeping them though. Uh, once you import the contacts and navigate to contacts list, depending on where you import your contacts to, you might need to switch where the contact application is pulling these contacts from. So you have this little icon right here, how uh, if you are logged in on a, into Google account, it will most likely show you the icon of your Google account. And when you click on it, it will give you, in this case, three options, device, SIM, and your Google account. And depending on where you imported them, you obviously want to select the location that you have chosen to import your contacts to. So as an example, I could now switch to SIM card and this will show me all the contacts that are actually on the SIM card or the ones that I have imported to the device. So there we go. So, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.